Welcome to Al Balad. He very kindly offered to show us where we could find a rooftop. That really is Saudi hospitality. He's only gone and led us to one of the coolest cafes. You know all the spots. Cheers, Saha. 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 It's like Saudi French fries. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be Jamil, you're Wasim. My friend. 60? Okay. Okay. Uh, Habibi, shukran. The best, the football man of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> but you need to start supporting Chelsea. Man U is not good. Very good. Chelsea the best. <laughs> good afternoon and welcome to Al Balad, Saudi Arabia, the old town of Jeddah. The Jeddah you probably didn't know existed. It is not all super modern shopping malls and skyscrapers. There is this seventh century old town that is probably a little bit rough around the edges but behind me is Bab Mecca or Mecca Gate and being that we are so close to the port so many pilgrims for hundreds of years on their way to Mecca would pass through this very gate. Unfortunately now it's a little bit of a building site but I feel like you can still see the beauty of the gate behind me. We are surrounded by rubbish and construction, but you know, I don't think it takes away from the fact that the uh, the gate is pretty cool. It's pretty pretty. Um, we're gonna head into the main part of Old Town Al Balad in a minute. We're gonna explore the streets uh, and we're kind of getting used to being on Saudi time. It takes it some is, getting used to. It really does. It's 4 p.m. There's still not really many people about, but the sun is gonna start to set soon. So hopefully we can see some more Saudis out and about. You can just imagine the thousands, the millions of people that have walked through this gate on the pilgrimage to Mecca. Now, surrounded by pigeons, some homeless people, and some flooring that really needs, really needs some work to be done on. It's not quite what you imagine when you think of Saudi Arabia. Balad actually means town and back during the 70s and 80s when the Saudis had an oil boom, lots of the locals that were from Saudi Arabia actually moved out of this part of the city, moved to different areas and then the people that moved in were from a poorer area or from poorer countries. So the area had changed slightly. Now they are putting a lot more money into it. So a lot is being rebuilt. As you can see, a lot of the shops are opening up. Um, there's still not many people about and we are coming out later. You can see right here the difference. These are the ones that have been redeveloped and you've got some of the old buildings that they are currently restoring right now. And these are really the symbol of Al Balad, the Rawashins, which are like the protruding wooden windows that you're gonna see absolutely everywhere. The houses and the architecture is so, so unique. They actually built them from coral stone, which was taken from the Red Sea. Obviously, behind me is one of the best preserved houses. It's called a Nassif House. Um, apparently, it was home to the founder of Saudi Arabia back in 1925. And in front of it, you will find, again, supposedly, the only tree in Jeddah in 1920. How mad is that? That tree really has seen get, many things. I don't really things. get how there could only be one and it was so perfectly planted. Yeah, just the only tree in the whole of Jeddah. I really don't understand how that was the only tree in Jeddah, but supposedly, back in the day, these stairs here were a ramp and you could get camels into this place. I'm not even sure it's open. Apparently, a lot of the places open sort of as they please. Let's try. And it's locked. It's definitely closed. I hope it's not. <laughs> I'm Abdurrahman. I'm uh, a guy from Jeddah. <laughs> I will explain to you um, some of the information about Jeddah. So Jeddah is 3,000 years old and it started from uh, a village as uh, for fishman. Can I just say yeah. that we were just walking down the old streets and we stumbled across, he works at the Medcalf yes, exactly. and Roastery, we were stumbling across um, some streets and he very kindly offered to show us where we could find 
a rooftop because they are seasonal. Saudi you hospitality. Say there's one, right? Yes. There's definitely a rooftop. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Half, grand. Ha half a rooftop. That really is Saudi hospitality for you. The museum was closed, doesn't open up till later. We found a small cafe and asked that cafe where a different cafe is, and the workers are taking us to their competition. They're the best. Don't uh, destruct the environment here. They so don't they would bring the wood. The so all of the wood comes yeah. from different areas. From Indonesia, from India, from oh, Turkey, wow. from uh, south of Saudi Arabia. There is a lot of trees. He's only gone and led us to one of the coolest cafes. You know all the spots. You know the, the best, best spots. spots. Look at this place. This is Roshan Cafe, and you think it's got half a rooftop? Yes. Sort of. <laughs> sort of a rooftop. Family pray here. Oh, so this wow. is the mihrab where the Imam like starting the pray. Yeah. And the people after him like. And they've got the. the this is uh, some ayat from Quran. Oh, okay. Yeah, some words from Quran. So this cafe, the house that it's built in, dates back more than 200 years. And then in the garden, in the courtyard, they have. A verse of the Quran going all the way around me, and then in, and then inside it also doubles as a type of museum. We were so lucky; we would never have known this was here if it wasn't for the incredible Saudi hospitality. That is hot. Time for Saudi tea. Cheers, Saha. 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 This was so lucky. This was a great find. Thank you, Thank Daphne, you for problem. taking us here. So we pleasure. have a Saudi tea, and this is, like you said, it's a half rooftop. Yes. Um, unfortunately, because of the season, some of the rooftops are now closed. So we have a half one. You can see we're surrounded by the amazing old buildings here. And would you believe our luck? That you were training to be a tour guide. Yes, we literally, exactly. People would think we're lying, but we've bumped into someone that is training <laughs> to be a tour guide. That exactly. is fate. Yeah. So hopefully, in a couple of months, you will be ready to take around everybody and show them we'll top that, that old yeah. town. Yeah. This is absolutely stunning. That you've got the courtyard all around there, a little seating area, traditional house behind us, the sun setting in the distance. What a location. I think we need to change the way we do things. Go out without any expectations. Whenever I go out and do so much research, oh, I need to go here, I need to go here, I need to go here. But I feel like when you go with the flow, you end up in these little hidden gems. The cafe slash museum. Look at this. Can you imagine the Japan Express? What the footage used to look like on a camera like that. As we left the cafe, we just stumbled across some sort of like filming thing where you have the ladies doing like a kind of like what happens during a wedding, it's like a celebration, but they also have the flags which is to celebrate the founding of Saudi. <laughs> Do you think you could be a Saudi woman doing a Saudi dance? I'm not sure. They looked like they had some good moves. They were much prettier and they had gorgeous Habibtis. outfit. Habibtis. Very nice Habibtis. These streets could be something that you find in an old town in Greece, in Spain. Not what you think you would find in... Oh! Fine leaves. In Jeddah, in this super modern city on the Red Sea. This is... Crazy, look at this place. Multicolored. You've got green, you've got blue, and you've got some browns. We are waiting for the famous bread of Al Balad from the Saidi Bakery, but it's not open. We're calling them. <laughs> They're being called. We're begging. <laughs> please come and open. Can I have some bread, please? <laughs> I don't know if that sounds good or bad. I really don't know. I'm hoping it's open because this is like one of the things that I was so excited for. Here. They're coming! Yes! Coming Yala MC. Yala MC. <laughs> Get me some bread. <laughs> Get me some bread. <laughs> so, while we wait for bread, I feel like it's the best time to ask you. <laughs> okay. As a local, how has life changed like in the last few years with all the changes that have happened in Saudi? Personally for you anyway. Actually, it's more open to the world and we could meet nice people like you. We have uh, a lot of changes like uh, from 
make uh, the religion true again. It's a peaceful, uh, peaceful changes to the to the, to us and to the world. Actually. And now we can eat bread together. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> right, he has just opened for us, and here it is. The famous bread. You can see they cook it in here, right? Yes. Exactly. In the oven. Um, and this is what I was so excited to try. So, what, which this one? The shabura. Shabura is like they look like the crusts yes, of normal it, bread. Exactly. And this, this is one? The loaf bread. You could say. The loaf spread. Kren, thank you. Let's eat this bread. We have bread. Finally, we have You're bread. Right, so. If you didn't have someone telling you that this was a bakery, you really wouldn't know what it was. It's like a little hole in the wall, um, and it's been there for over a hundred years. This is the shurek. Shurek. Yeah. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how excited I am. I wish you could smell this. It's so so fresh. But here goes. <laughs> That's huge. Mmm. <laughs> it's like French bread, but like flatter. And I don't know if you can see, but look at that. Pure. Sponginess. I mean, it could do with like butter or jam or something, but this was so good for two real. We were just walking around and we found some French fries topped with mahamra or hamra and, another and some other sauces. It's basically Saudi chips. It's like Saudi French fries. Yeah. Oh my god, here we go. Look at this. It kind of, there's like all sorts of like sauces on there. Um, there's a big queue as well. well everyone wants it. I've uh, given a review of Saudi French fries. How are they? Oh, it's good. It's spicy. It is. Really, really tasty. And um, I don't really know what sort of flavors are going on there. You've got ketchup, you've got green chili, you've got everything, garlic sauce. Yes. It mm. works. They're good. The origin of the, a tree called Arak. Okay. This Arak tree, they cut the roots and they make it like this. this and then it's like a toothbrush? It's a, it's a small toothbrush. It's like express toothbrush, you could say. What do you do? Just put it in your teeth and... Uh, this will get rid of all the french fries. First, just, yeah. He's done it already, I think, right? No, just bite it. So it uh -huh. goes separated. Then, go like this. Ah. Yeah. Do I a, eat it? No, no, no. Twist it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, now just... Clean. Do, yeah, clean. And it's like uh, turning uh, to a brush, you know? You have one. Okay. I have ah. one? So, yeah. You just press it like this and make it like a brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me have a look. Your teeth nice also. and white. Oh, I'm solid, Sam. <laughs> Daddy hospitality is too nice. We've been handed these like natural toothbrushes and he wouldn't let us pay for them. Shukran, Thank Habibi. Thank you very much. Thank shukran. you, Shukran. I now have nice smelling breath. <laughs> Uh, roots. Oh wow, roots, and this yeah. is what it's made out of? Yes, exactly. Wow, and he cuts it down and then... Actually, this is an Islamic Sunnah. Yeah. The Sunnah is why Prophet, what Prophet Muhammad do before. So Prophet Muhammad used to use this to clean his teeth. So there was not toothbrush before, but he cleaned his teeth with this, you know? Yeah. Who would have thought it? A Saudi toothbrush to clean your teeth after eating Saudi fries. We're now at the Bab Mecca market and we are going in to check I'm putting my head through the front of his shop <laughs> the date store wow he's got a lot there is a lot going on in here what dates are the best Come hello on, my friend you. salam can you ask him what his favorite date is <laughs> what is your favorite date my <laughs> friend <laughs> the best one he says you are the best <laughs> I'm the best date no <laughs> Habibi shukran shukran so Grand, Medina, thank Medina. you. Medina. Okay. This is from Medina. Yeah, exactly. Mm. It's good. Yes. Really nice. Salam. Salam. How are you? Hi, Salam. Hi. Salam. 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 White, right? Or the red and black? And the Macau, how Okay. And the Macau? Who knows? This is the Saudi one. Can I try it on? Yes, you're good. Sure. Yeah, it's uh, the most traditional one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Matt is going to become a traditional Saudi man. This is the, uh, how can I say, when you go to work, when you go to a business, this is the for Saudi. Okay. This is the traditional. And this is traditional. And for me, this is more beautiful. Okay, I'll go. Yeah. I can try, try it on, on, my friend. Is it okay? Huh? And you're from Jeddah? Yeah. You're from Jeddah? 
عائلتي يعني نص عائلتي هناك في uh, Is he from Jeddah? في uh, برمنجهام شيفيلد Oh, they have some uh, family in ah, Birmingham. And Birmingham, yeah. Sheffield, yeah, yeah, like two yeah. hours away. Yeah. But is he? Yemen. Are oh, you from Yemen? Yemen. Yemen? Ah, amazing. Okay, here we go. Actually, his son is named like my name. Really? Abdurrahman. <laughs> so he's the Abu Abdurrahman. Yeah, Abu. It's mean father. How am I looking? <laughs> God, I feel like I should. Yeah, have the, the only kings. Only kings wear the gold one. Yes. Am I like a king? Like yeah, a Saudi king. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm looking, Molly. You're looking like a king. Like a king. I yeah. love the gold. Mil. <laughs> you can't be some mil. You're Wasim. Gold of Aya, right? This is the bish. This is the bish. This is the bish. Yeah. This is the bish. Oh. You miss me when he wins the World Cup. Okay. Okay. My arms go through. Ah, I want to see my arms. Well, look at you. Okay. I'm ready. They're, put, they're dressing me in absolutely everything. <laughs> and now this. Oh, wow. Okay. This is uh. I won't be getting all of this, it's just going to be too much. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, look at you! It's good? Yeah. My friend, look at this! His name is Abu Abdurrahman. Abu... Abu... Abu Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman. My name is Talal. Talal. Yeah. Talal. I will say Talal, that is easier for me. Yeah, I am now bit, yeah. officially a Saudi. Shukran. Shukran. Habibi. Thank you. Masalama. So, to be... The real Saudi man. To match this, I'm thinking Saudi football shirt. If that isn't the <laughs> ultimate Saudi combination, I don't oh. know what it is. 60 for me today. Be for, for, for because you yeah exactly <laughs> Man United in the bin. For Chelsea we do 60. <laughs> 60 <laughs> real. No 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 just for this one. No <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea very very good. Chelsea the best. <laughs> but today Saudi. <laughs> My friend. 60? Okay. Okay, yes. uh, Habibi, shukran. Habibi, the best, the football man of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> but you need to start supporting Chelsea. Man U is not good. Very good. Chelsea the best. <laughs> shukran, Habibi. The biggest surprise, we were going for coffee and we made, we made a friend for life. And tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. Fast food this time of night. I don't know who we blooming think we are. This is what Saudi feels like to me. There it is. In all its glory. Everyone in our bakes already waving. They're having their oh, hello. chicken. <laughs> <And> it's... Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Everybody's waving at us at our bake. I have no idea what we're getting. So far, I can only see chicken meals. My arm is about to fall off. 